Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanna to test out Etcher. What I'm gonna do is flash RetroPie 4.1 to an SD card. We'll throw it in the Pi and see if it boots up. So what this is, it's pretty much just like Win32 Disk Imager, but has a nicer graphical user interface here. You can burn images to your SD card or USB drives. You can burn Linux to your USB or any image for your Raspberry Pi or other single board computers. It's available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. There is a portable and installer for Windows, and it looks promising. So Win32 Disk Imager is kind of intimidating to newer Raspberry Pi users. They don't want to mess up their hard drive or mess something up in general. So let's go ahead and download this. It's 80 megabytes, 82 megabytes here. And what I've done is I've already downloaded it. I've downloaded the Windows version. We're gonna install it here. Yes, install. And we're gonna start it. All right, so first up, I mean, it's very basic. We're gonna select our image, RetroPie 4.1. And it does have my drive already chosen here. This will not choose your hard drive, which is really cool. This is a 16 gigabyte SanDisk SD card. And it already has a RetroPie image flash to it. I'm just gonna hit flash and see what happens. All right, so the flash is complete here. It does take a bit longer than Win32 Disk Imager because it verifies the file system. Pretty cool, it unmounts it automatically for us. We can go ahead and pull the SD card out. I'm gonna put it in the Raspberry Pi and see if it boots up. So there we have it guys, RetroPie 4.1 is installed. I used Etcher to flash it to the SD card. This is a really cool app. I mean, it is a little slower than Win32 Disk Imager, like I said, because it verifies the file system and then unmounts the card for us automatically. But those built-in features are really cool. I think I might start using this a little more. Very simple to do, nice user interface, and obviously it works. So I just wanna give you a quick look at that. I'll leave a download link in the description for you guys. If you guys have any requests, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.